Today we're talking about these guys, aka thumb sleeves, aka cloth socks. What are they? How do they work? Should you buy them? Which ones should you buy? And are they for you? That's what we're gonna answer in today's video. I get asked on stream all the time what I'm wearing on my thumbs, and I'm finally gonna give you guys the answer. This is Mobile Gaming Tech, I'm with Sanity, and let's get into it. So first, a little bit of history. So the idea behind Claw Socks, which is the name brand for MGC, Mobile Gaming Core, they call their thumb sleeves Claw Socks. The idea is that it provides a really smooth experience when you put your thumb to the screen. Now, if you wash your hands, or maybe you are sweaty, or it's hot, or it's cold, or whatever, you can have a very different experience with your skin on the glass. But when you put the claw sock on, it takes all of that away, and it provides the same exact consistent experience every single time you put your thumb to the screen. The first time I ever heard about claw socks was when MGC, a company called Mobile Gaming Core, introduced them. This was their first generation and they were a little bit thicker and definitely like an actual cloth. It's definitely gotten better over time. So, you know, for a first pass years ago, these were okay and this is what I started wearing around April 2020. So I had only about 60,000 subscribers. I've been wearing claw socks all the way from 60K until today. I'll put some gameplay at the end of this video, but suffice it to say, if you go to almost any video on my channel, you're going to see gameplay that has claw socks in them. The next set that they came out with is arguably still to this day, the best ones. And these are what I wear every day and what I recommend. I've already opened these, but the packaging was, you would tear it, you open it up, and you get this more streamlined, more elastic, stretchy material. And these ones by far are the best. And they have, I think, the best blend of fabric for engaging with the screen. Now, why these claw socks are special for all these generations is they have kind of this uh, special threading in them. You'll see why it's like a little silvery. This allows the screen to still register your touch. This is why these claw socks will work where, you know, maybe just like a regular towel or like your t-shirt like wouldn't engage the screen and tap. These will because it actually registers kind of like a metallic touch to it. But it still feels very soft and it's still stretchy just like a, like a athletic kind of fabric. After that, MGC introduced a carbon fiber edition and these were a lot thinner and more sleek. In a way, it felt like a little bit of a downgrade for me. Um, over time, they would kind of get like threads that would come out of them and whatnot. They were still great. I'd say like for durability, these were like an eight out of 10, while these ones were definitely more of a 10 out of 10. MGC isn't the only company that makes claw socks, by the way. There's also content creators that are starting their own claw sock brands or thumb sleeve brands. And there's also another big company called Razor that makes claw socks as well. I'll get into these a little bit more later on in the video, but let's keep going with MGC. So MGC has sent me their latest iteration of claw socks. They have the Geo Camo, and it looks like these are more of that carbon fiber material, and they've actually done a little bit more of a print design with this hexagon pattern. So we're gonna open these up and test them out. So all you have to do is just rip off the bottom here. And if you want, you can actually use the packaging like a permanent house for these so you don't lose them. So it has like a, a resealable kind of Ziploc mechanism on the bottom too. So you get these out and when you open it up initially, it actually comes with all the claw socks that have their own little cardboard insert. This keeps them flat and keeps them nice. And you can throw that out if you want, or I mean, if you really want to take care of them, you could always put the cardboard like back in after you get done using them. Also, a cool thing about MGC is they run this mobile league. And this is something that I used to cast a long time ago. And every single purchase that you make, whether it's their claw socks or any of their other products, you get a code and you can now go into these cash tournaments that they run. So if you're really good, you can actually make your money back from whatever you bought. I've actually had a different package and I've been testing these out a little bit. Um, I do think it's cool and I like that they have uh, definitely the best looking ones by far with this print. But I will say one of the limitations is uh, you can see my thumb, you can kind of see my skin coming through. These don't exactly have like the highest thread count, these carbon fiber ones, the black ones, they get the job done for sure, but maybe it's personal preference. I still prefer these claw socks. I'll put one on my other thumb so you guys can see kind of a comparison. Like you can kind of see my skin coming through on my thumb. You really can't see it that much on this one. These have like a really high good thread count and I've been using these for years and they're phenomenal. The only thing that I've noticed while using these and it's not a big deal, but if you accidentally wear it like this, you know, like you, you know, you put it on backwards, this part right here, this printed pattern does not really work that well on the screen. This is the part that is super smooth. 
this part doesn't quite do what you want and it'll actually, it feels like rubber, like wiping on your screen. So you have to make sure that you're wearing these. At the end of the day, all of the MGC claw socks are really great and I recommend them. Let's talk about Razer for a second. First off, let's just do a size comparison. Look at this one compared to this. You have a really big problem with these Razer claw socks because they're tiny. I have bigger thumbs, so I end up stretching them out so much. You can really kind of see my thumb coming through there. It's not a very high thread count at all. And that's not even the crazy part about these claw socks from Razer. So these used to be $20, now they're 10. So right now on Razer.com, they are like $10 or $8 with like some kind of discount, but they're out of stock. So right now, if you wanted to buy the Razer ones, they are $20 on Amazon and you get two of them. So honestly, that pricing still is kind of the same. They're trying to charge somewhere on the internet, $20 for two of these. Meanwhile, MGC charges $12.99 for six of these. So $20 for two means this is $10, $2 versus $10. And MGC's claw socks last way, way longer. They're so thin and small that these do not last very long at all. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna show this or not, but I have dozens of these claw socks. You guys saw how many I have, literally hundreds probably by now. The only one that's ever ripped is a razor one. So I don't know if this was just effective. I put all of these through the same thing every day. I just play on my iPad and this one ripped like crazy. So I'm not sure what happened here. When you put all of these together, I can like smell them. All right, I'm not gonna lie. They do get dirty, a lot of sweat. Maybe I was eating some food on stream. Uh, they definitely, can get a little messy. Uh, but the good news is you can also wash these. So I can't tell you how many times I accidentally washed like a pair of shorts or sweatpants and I had like maybe two of these in the pocket and it comes out of the dryer like completely brand new. So these will last a very long time. In fact, really the only time you ever need to replace them is if you lose them because they are kind of small. But if you take care of them, even just one pack could last you a very long time. I can really say I would highly recommend the MGC ones over Razor and even more so, I would recommend these ones right here. So I'll put some links in the description if you guys wanna check them out. Anyway, let's end the video with a little bit of gameplay, but that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Target down!